One of the things we did notice in initially when I changed the system was we got a lot of Coxfoot volunteered back into our system. Yeah. And the cows did really well on it. We'd always thought it was a mongrel grass. But under a good biological system, a digestibility is much higher and a protein is higher. Okay. And it's preferential food then for the cows too. Yeah. And an interesting story when we were still dairying, and because um, this is this property was originally 150 acres, now it's 480. We and it's so it's made up of four blocks. So and all the blocks were introduced except one. Prior to us, um, they all had the same high NPK regime applied, yep. except one block. And we initially um, supered that block. They were usually run down neighbour neighbouring you know, retiree type farmers let their places run down a little bit that we were taking up. Um, and so one place was very, very hard to get going in, in 82 we bought it, or 81 we bought it, and we suited it initially to get it moving along in 82, and we had a group here in 83, and that was the best pasture they saw. Like, nice clover, ryegrass balanced pastures. The rest of the pastures were you know, had a fair bit of coxfoot and, um, you know, sort of native species coming back into them. So I said, well, you might think that's the best pasture, but you go, you have a look at the milk chart when we get back to the dairy, and every cow, every time the cows graze this pasture, they drop 200 litres of milk, two to 300 litres. And there it was, you know, every three weeks or so, they'd go down two or 300 litres of milk, grazing this really textbook-looking pasture, go on to the rough stuff and come up again. 